What's up guys, it's Jambo the Game here and also want to thank um, Kill J for putting me into this review of um, Fear 2. Fear 2, um, I, I did like the game, I also did like the first one but it's mostly the first one I completed. I, I, did go ha I did get halfway through the second game of um, Fear 2 but for some reason my Xbox just, <laughs> just died broke, I was halfway through the game. Anyway, um, it's about like these, um, the guy who like the first one, but also he kills his own team, I think. I can't remember, it's, it's been quite so long since I played this game. But um, what I really did like it was about the little girl about it, because there's a glitch in the game where you can actually, she keeps on following it, and it's fucking creepy, you can't get rid of her, it's weird. And um, uh, this, I like, I like the story. I, 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 I managed to get it for the PS2, so I managed to finish it all. I, sw um, I really like the story. The story was good, uh, but it, it's um, well, I, 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 I like the shooting. I like the things. I also like the slow time we had, actually had in the first game, which was quite a good idea. How they actually brought it back in the second game, which is quite a good idea, but. Um, the thing I really did um, like it was to be really honest, I really liked the first one. Because I think the first one was more scares and that, but in the in, but I did like the second one because they were quite a lot of scares and that, but quite mostly quite a lot of action and that. And it. But to me, it was quite a good game to be really honest. I really, I really liked the sound effects and gameplay. You know, I've even played in hard mode to be really honest, and it's quite hard as fucking nails to be honest. So the only thing I really want to actually really say about this game is if if you guys have not played like the first one of um, Fear One, I think you're better off like getting Fear One and then Fear Two, then Fear Three, because it's like a collection. So you're better off playing like the first one now to the second one to the third one. I've never really played the third one to be honest. Um, it's only the first and second one I've really played because I actually, cause I actually quite enjoyed them most. All I heard about the third one, the, the third one was meant to be shy. I don't know, I've never played it, but I'll pick it up anyway I see it and I'll play it for myself. I'll do it for myself and see if it's good or not. That's my thing. I don't know, I know about you killed Jay, but I really quite like this game. What about you? I really like the first one better. So what did you think killed Jay? And um, thank you, Kill J, for uh, inviting me to your um, review. That's very kind of you. And also, I'm back. So, check out my channel again. Sorry for the hold up. Because I've gotten this new phone, which took forever to get. So, I'm real quite happy to get this phone. Anyway, first, sorry for blabbering. Blabbering, you know what I mean. Anyway, thank you, guys. For tuning in with me and Coward J and Jumbo Game Monster, and I'll see you in the next video, Coward J, or whatever time that is. Or see you in my next video. Goodbye, smell your mouth! Welcome back to Sexy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sexy Fear 2 Reborn. What am I saying? Alright. Welcome back to Fear 2 Reborn. It's been a while there, but anyway. We had a review piece review uh, review rule with the, my boy Jamal the Gamer. He's in this thing once again in the third half because I originally wanted to get him in the first half with Mortal Kombat 11 as well as the other ones and a couple other things I wanted to get him in. But now he is here and he's back better than ever. So who knows? You might see more from this Jamal the Gamer character in this third half, fourth half. You might see more of him pretty soon, you guys. Anyway, today's game is Fear 2 Reborn. Yes. This expansion pack, whatever you want to call it, DLC for original Fear 2, which actually has good old Paxton Fettel come back from Fear 1 to talk to this uh, replica soldier, Foxtrot 813. So basically, uh, basically uh, the whole the whole gist is this guy gets possessed and kills his own, kills his own replica army and uh, 
Paxton Fell leads him on his quest to find him and stuff like that. It's basically the whole summary of the, the story because, yeah, that's how I summed it up. It's basically, that's basically the whole premise of Fear 2 Reborn. It's just, okay, you go find Pax and Fettel, and you go rogue and kill your own people, your own replica soldiers, and then and all that. Then you got, there's a couple of moments you have Alma here and there, Alma's little girl almost there. Here you got some, like, ghost specter enemies there. You got some ghost replicas you're sh shooting here in this, uh, in this initial gameplay you're seeing, so. But anyway, is this game... Uh, this game is pretty good for what it is there, Fear 2 Reborn, it's, but it's, this DLC is so short that it's shorter and short, it's like, I believe like 60 to 90 minutes or something like that along those lines, I'm not sure, around, roughly around that length, so, it's not much of it, just, okay, there's like four chapters in this game, uh, there's four chapters in this initial DLC machine, uh, story add-on, based add-on, there's four chapters. So, basically, your first chapter is you going on a mech and shooting all the all the all the bad guys and just laying ham into them and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. And good thing they actually got the original voice actor for Pax and Fettel in this uh, uh, DLC for Fear Two because always having the original voice actor doing their stuff is always good because they add a lot to the character or you know what I mean. The thing is, what Fear Fear series? This is a series that is very underrated and un underappreciated. People talk about the first Fear because the first Fear was a, a very good classic horror game. Because yes, it had action based, but you had this little creepy girl Alma there killing everyone. Then she was connected to Point Man and all that. Fear Two comes along and uh, changes some things because you're Beckett, you're a prototype guy, you're just trying to be like a prototype of Point Man. And that there, and then that's pretty much that. And then almost pregnant with Beckett's child, and Fear Free comes along, and you play as Paxton Fettel and uh, Point Man once again in Fear Free. Well, you play as Paxton Fettel for the first time in Fear Free. You play as Point Man once again in Fear Free. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to, I don't want to mess it up there, but uh, yeah. Fear, uh, Fear 2 Reborn is like Fear 2, you have initial four weapons that you can switch from because, uh, what is it, uh, Fear, Fear 1 you had, uh, three weapons that you can use, Fear 2 you can have extra four weapon slot, which is pretty good, but, which is nice to add four additional extra weapon slot because you're gonna need a lot of weapons for these enemies because especially these guys here, they're friggin' annoying as, sh annoying as shit there. Little puppeteers, and you're walking around. These guys, like, those guys absorb bullets like no other. I don't care what anyone says there. These guys absorb bullets just like, damn. Like, goddamn bullet sponge enemies there. And they do that, and yeah. Incredibly annoying, but. And people, you do, do you want me to spoil the end? Well, since it's an old game, you know, people have already played, people that have already played it, if they have, you know, ones that people have played it, you know. The guy goes into the whole goes into the whole room where Paxton Fettel was shot in Fear One, and Paxton Fettel transforms into the replica guy, and, he, and he's reborn. So yeah, that's basically it for uh, Fear Two Reborn. Yeah, it's initially a short game. You know, you have your gray environments. People say, "Oh, well, yeah, it's yeah, it's gray." I can admit that their, their environments are kind of gray. There's some. This game has a lot of gray in it. But there, once you're into the dark, like the creepy supernatural areas, it adds something to this game, which it needs that because when you have supernatural stuff and it looks good and it has that type of good feeling to it in, in this game, it's really good because for me, Fear Two there, Fear Two Reborn is a pretty pretty okayish DLC there. I wouldn't say it's like the best 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 there, but for me, I enjoy it when I first played it when I first came when I first bought it there a long long time ago because I know I want to go back and revisit this one and review it uh, you know because I've seen some people I've seen a certain individual uh, a certain individual a YouTuber I watched there watching his reviews of the fear series and and I wanted to review go back and review this one then later on review fear 2 because I know I'm doing it out of order but anyway that's besides the point because now now that season uh, 12 is here and ready to go and all that has already been there but for me this game is fun I like Fear 2 Reborn it's nice 
it's nice to review this like just do a review initial review on it because I hadn't really uh, really reviewed it all that well because I know I just uh, back in the day there was the good old Retromon gamer days you know you friggin point a camera at TV and you rush to review and you're like okay well I'll review this next game we're like friggin it was a different time we like it was a different time I used to like do reviews and attrition there like insane amount of reviews and attrition like crazy amount there now you really can't do reviews and attrition all that much there because it's life is life and stuff like that but anyway that's besides the point but anyway to me this game this game in the story based DLC add-on expansion whatever you want to call it uh, not to be p political or whatever you want to call that is it good it's not bad there it's could be a little bit more to it there but it's for me I, I enjoyed for what I played from actually I beaten it there from it was fun but it could have added more to it they're like honestly could have added more to the thing there because to me it was is basically following up uh, the whole fear series and that their fear See what you want about the initial fear series is pretty good. I like it. There you got these little uh, ninja guys with electricity chart chasing after you. There, electronic ninjas chasing after you. Whatever you want to fucking, what do you want to call those guys? They're assassins. There, ass assassins. There, those guys are. Those guys are quite quite the guys. So yeah. These are like the similar enemies to their first fear game. These are like, are like a different. Like occurring enemies from Fear One, I believe. There, I'm not sure about that. They look like the or to remind me of the enemies from Fear One. Those guys with the cloaks and that there, they do all the same kind of stuff. They're very similar to that enemy. So, yeah, I know Fear Free had different enemies and didn't really had different monsters and that there just to liven it up, I guess. But to me, Fear Two Reborn is pretty good for what it is. There could have be been better, obviously. There could have been did better in some aspects. Could have made the game, could have made the story based DLC a lot longer. Could have been more to it than fought more any more of the mo the supernatural monsters. To me, you're to me, it seems like you're on autopilot. As soon as you get going, you're on auto autopilot right away. You're just like, yeah, you're gonna keep going. And there are some parts in this. There's a part in this game where you get stripped of your weapons, and then you have to like, you know. Do melee combat and not beat the shell the replica, and after that, then you get all your weapons back, and yeah, it's a quite crazy area. There's one area in this game, I believe. There's your like your. It's these some of these areas are pretty good. Like, there could be more to it, obviously, but to me, I like I don't I didn't mind this DLC that much. But anyway, that's besides the point. Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? I guess I pretty much summed it up. In my initial in my initial video, I don't know how I did that fast. Or summed it up pretty good. <laughs> All right, uh, what else can I say about this Fear Two Reborn? Uh, uh, Fear Two Reborn expansion pack there thing. Well, I know it was uh, it was also you know published by Warner Brothers and developed by Monolith and all that there. And it was on the Xbox 360, which I'm playing it on, and the PlayStation Deferred. And I'm pretty sure it's on PC. Yeah, it's on Steam. You have to get all the Fear 2 bundle, bundle with all the Fear games. You get all that. So, yeah. They bundle it all together because, yeah, it is what it is. To me, should the Fear series come back? Yes, it should come back. If we get millions, if we get games that, that people are not really interested in because, you know, people have bad taste when it comes to that. They're like, oh, I'll, I'll buy a game that I don't like and support it. Instead of a game that actually has good stuff in it, like a, a good horror, good first person shooter, or a good fighting game, or actually a good game that actually makes me, you know, is enjoyable and gets straight, has fun out throughout the whole values and doesn't get influenced by uh, no lows, that people that don't actually play games and just complain about other people's shit, you know, yeah. To me, I, to me, 7th gen, 6th gen was really good, 7th gen was really good as well. Because seven gen, you had a lot of standout games. You had Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption. You had Alan Wake. At even the 360 was the the king as well. That was that was Xbox's last, you know, good era of stuff. There, it was the 360. To me, the Xbox One, they started off strong with Killer Instinct and stuff like that. They just just kept going with it and kept going. You know, to me, they kind of like fizzled out soon as soon as possible. That's why. Do I hate the Xbox One? No, I like it. I don't mind it there. But to me, it could have been much more, like everything else there. 
But anyway, that's besides the whole Xbox One discussion. I'm going to give my rating on this DLC because I know I'm babbling all over the place like a babbling, <laughs> babbling babbler. Uh, let's see. Uh, for my for my reading appending, I'm gonna read and decide to append it right now. Uh, uh, let's see. Duh, 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 duh. I'll give it a for this DLC. I'll give it an eight out of ten. So eight out of ten for this level. I was gonna give it a six, but to me this area is pretty cool. So I give it two points for two extra points because of this area is pretty badass and nice there. Because I like this kind of area. It's like a, it's like a ruins area and asylum. There you got these. Crazy replica guys going after you is pretty cool. So, all right, thank you for watching and see you people later. Bye bye. Killer G, we'll see you people later. Peace. There.